Welcome to The Update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. A new poll shows support for the Indigenous voice is continuing to fall. The latest Redbridge survey published by News Corp suggests just 38% of Australians are in favour of the voice. It comes as prominent no campaigners. Warren Mundine and Senator Jacinta Price feature in a new ad campaign to start airing this week. The ad will be broadcast in the key battleground of South Australia and also run nationally on social media. Now we have a choice to make. Do we give in to guilt and division or do we say no? No to those who want to divide us. Federal police have issued a warning to small businesses to be on alert with a big spike in the number of cyber attacks. Scammers are increasingly hacking email accounts and altering bank details to fleece individuals and businesses out of millions of dollars. Operation Dolos has been launched to help recoup lost funds. A total of $98 million was lost from small business last year. There could soon be a shortage of chicken at the supermarket and in fast food outlets after workers at Ingham's walked off the job over a pay dispute. The actions being taken at the company's South Australian and WA operations, which supply KFC and Woolworths, as well as a number of markets along the East Coast. And as end-of-year exams approach, a new survey has revealed more than half of high school and university students are not sleeping properly because of study stress. 65% of respondents said they were sleeping less because of study. 57% said they were burning the midnight oil to keep cramming. Reach Out's Jackie Hallen says a regular routine is is key to academic success. Going to bed and getting up at the same time every day, so setting that regular alarm, creating a relaxing environment. Some of us would be studying in our bedroom where we're also sleeping. So if you can pack the the computer and the books away at night or cover them up, that can be a good start. Sport and entertainment are next. To Sport and Carlton's hopes for a grand final berth have been dashed by Brisbane. The Lions taking the win by 16 points despite the loss. Coach Michael Voss full of praise for his team. Um, the reality is, is that we did you know, get some threats. We had some threatening times, um, but we weren't able to put it together long enough and that's, that's what finals footy and certainly these games ask of you. The Lions now face the Pies in Saturday's grand final. The Broncos will go head-to-head with the Penrith Panthers in the NRL grand final after defeating the Warriors 42-12. Broncos coach Kevin Walters believes his side can go all the way. I've got a lot of faith and a lot of confidence in our in our team, particularly our squad, that next week's going to be very exciting and we, we'll be in there right up to our eyeballs. Entertainment and Harry and Meghan have made a surprise appearance at a charity event at Kevin Costner's estate in California. The couple were joined by Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres at the 1805 Live concert to raise funds for first responders. George Clooney is reportedly packing up and leaving Lake Como after nearly two decades in the picturesque Italian hotspot. Local media reporting his waterfront mansions on the market expected to fetch up to $100 million. And after days of closed-door negotiations, Hollywood's run Writers' strike could be nearing an end. Thousands of film and television writers walked off the job in May, grinding Hollywood production to a halt. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update.